how to set up your own Minecraft Bedrock Edition Windows Server for free. So Minecraft Bedrock Edition is the cross-platform version of Minecraft. So our Bedrock Edition server is compatible with Android, iOS, Windows, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, Gear VR, and Amazon TV. So let's start setting up your server. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser. Once you've done that, you want to navigate to the following URL address, which is www.minecraft.net slash en dash us slash download slash server slash bedrock. Once you're here, you want to just scroll down all the way down to where it says Windows and Ubuntu. Here you'll be downloading the Windows Server software for Windows and this is where we're going to be hosting our Minecraft Bedrock Edition server on for this tutorial. So all you need to do for now is agree to the terms and conditions here and then scroll down and click the green button here to download the Bedrock Edition server. So just left click on it here and your download will begin. I'll be back once the download finishes. Alright, once your Minecraft Bedrock Edition Windows Server has been downloaded, you can now go to the file's location by clicking this arrow here and going Show in Folder. And now what we're going to do, we're going to move this zip file here to our desktop. So I'm just going to drag it onto our desktop here and I'm going to close out of the Downloads folder. Alright, so we got our Bedrock Server on our desktop here and it's currently a zip file. You're going to need to extract the contents of this zip file. So what you can do is download a piece of software called WinRAR or download a piece of software called WinZip. You can also use your own preferred decompression tool. So once you've got your decompression tool installed, all you need to do is create a new folder here. So I'm going to call it Minecraft Bedrock Edition Server and then I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to put this zip file in the folder that we've just created. Great, so I'm going to double click into the folder now and I'm just going to maximize this window here. Now let's extract the contents of this zip file by right clicking on it and click extract here. Once you've done that, all the contents of the zip file will be extracted into this folder. You now no longer need this zip file anymore, so you can just right click and delete it. And now you're almost ready to run your server. However, we do need the command to run our Bedrock Edition Minecraft server. To find this command, among the files you extracted from the zip file, there'll be a HTML document, which is a very important file and contains the majority of the contents of how to run our Bedrock Edition server. So as you can see, here's the HTML document here. It's called Bedrock underscore server underscore how underscore two. So just double click on this and it will open up a window. Once you've done that, you'll want to navigate to the Windows platform here. And here is our command here. It's in this gray text box. So all you need to do is copy all the contents of this command here, highlight it all, and then right click copy. Once you've copied the command to run your server, you need to go to your search box here on the bottom of your desktop, left click on it, and then type CMD. Once you've done that, you'll need to run your command prompt as an administrator. So just left click and run as administrator. And the command prompt should open for you as an admin. Once you've done that, all you need to do is right click in the terminal here and then press enter. Once you've pressed enter, you'll receive a message that just says OK from the command prompt. And that means you've executed the command correctly. So now you can just minimize your command prompt. And for the time being, you can minimize your instructions here. And now you truly are ready to run your Minecraft Bedrock Edition cross-platform server. To do this, just find the application, which is called Bedrock underscore server. This is your server application. And now all you need to do is double click on this application to start your server. Once you've done that, the command prompt will open and your server will immediately start running and begin generating your world. Once you've done that, you'll get a Windows security alert that says Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some features in this app. You'll have two options here. You'll have to check either private networks such as my home or work network or public networks. I'm not on a public network. I'm on a private home network. So I'm just going to leave this one checked, which is checked by default, and then just click allow access. Fantastic guys, so as you can see in the terminal here, it says server started and you'll be given four ports, two for IPv4 and two for IPv6 that you and other clients such as your friends and guests can use to connect to your Minecraft Bedrock Edition server. So I'm going to be connecting by IPv6 because that is my preference and I'm going to choose this port here, which is 19133. So I'm just going to copy this. 
Once you've copied your port, just minimize the terminal here, and then you can close out of this folder for the time being. And now you're ready to join your server. So now just open up the Minecraft Bedrock Edition game by double clicking on the icon here, it's on my desktop, and your game will start running. All right, so we're on Minecraft right now, so all you need to do is click play, and then go to servers. And now you need to scroll down on featured servers here, and you should see add server. You want to left click on this, and then you just want to put in your server name. So let's go with websplaining. For the server address here, you just want to type in localhost. However, your friends will need to put in your IP address. I'll show you how to grab your IP address towards the end of this video. For the port, you want to enter in the port that you copied. So I'm just going to delete the one that's in here and just paste in the port that we copied from the terminal, which is 19133, which is our IPv6 port. Once you've done that, click save, and then just scroll all the way back down and you should see additional servers, left click on it. And then all you need to do on the right hand side here is click join server. You'll be greeted with this message that says online play is not rated. You can check mark do not show this screen again if you want. I'm just going to click proceed and you should start connecting to your Minecraft Bedrock Edition server that's hosted on Windows. And there we go guys, your Minecraft Bedrock Edition server has been generated and hosted as a Windows server on your device. Now you may be wondering how to give yourself operator to have admin privileges. So all you need to do to give yourself operator to have admin privileges is to op yourself. So you just need to go back to the command prompt here and you'll just wanna type the following, OP, short for operator, space, and then your player name. So as you can see, my player name is deadpanewe7107 is my player name. So all you need to do is type that in. Make sure you put in the upper and lower cases correctly as it is case sensitive. So once you've done that, just hit enter. And as you can see, the server will say opt colon and then your player name. So you can minimize this terminal window now and go back to your game and type escape here and then click on this crown icon here. You should see permission level operator. All right, guys, that concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, as promised, I'm going to show you how to grab your IP address. And this IP address is what your friends and guests are going to use as the server address for your server to connect to your server. So all you need to do is open up your browser and then type in the following, what is my IP address, and then hit search. And at the top here, it should say, what's my IP? And then underneath it, there'll be a string of numbers here. And this is your IP address or the server address that your friends and guests are going to be connecting to. All right, guys, that concludes the video. Thanks, and I'll see you on the next one.